The ASCENT clinical trial was a study to evaluate sasetuzumab govotecan, an anti-trope 2 antibody drug conjugate in triple negative metastatic breast cancer in patients who'd received um, more than two lines of prior therapy in the metastatic setting, um, or greater than or equal to two lines of therapy in the metastatic setting. Um, it's an exciting trial because it did demonstrate an improved uh, progression-free survival as well as a significantly improved overall survival for patients randomly assigned to receive sasetuzumab compared to treatment of physician's choice, which is single agent chemo. So what we wanted to do was actually look at the biomarkers um, from this study, um, two of which were um, uh, trope 2, uh, which is the target that the ADC is going after, and whether or not levels of expression correlated with efficacy as well as looking at BRCA, uh, BRCA mutation status, germline mutation status. Now we know that trope two is expressed in all different subtypes of breast cancer and in preclinical models, trope two expression correlated with um, worse prognosis and uh, uh, sasetuzumab appeared to work better based on tumors that had higher expression of trope two. And the reason we wanted to look at BRCA status is because um, the pay load SN38 for the sasetuzumab govotecan, it actually works by um, by increasing single strand DNA breaks, um, irrespective of BRCA mutation status. And because uh, patients with BRCA mutations have difficulty with repairing double strand breaks, it would make sense that perhaps those with a BRCA mutation might be particularly um, benefiting from sasetuzumab govotecan. So in this clinical trial, um, BRCA mutation status um, was uh, assessed in patients who had no status. Um, so, and about seven or eight percent of patients were known to have a BRCA mutation. In terms of trope 2 expression, um, our analysis indicated that trope, expre trope 2 expression was moderate to high in over three quarters of patients, um, tumors that were submitted um, and analyzed, which is pretty impressive. impressive. In fact, more than 50 percent of patients had high trope 2 expression based on an H score, an immune histochemical assay. Um, and then we looked at um, whether or not the progression-free survival or overall survival um, differed based on um, uh, trope 2 expression. And um, actually, we showed that there were higher efficacy outcomes observed in patients treated with sasetuzumab govotecan who had a medium to high trope 2 H score versus those treated with treatment of physician's choice. Um, and there was clinical benefit of sasetuzumab um, versus TPC um, irrespective of level of trope 2 expression. Um, moreover, we showed that sasetuzumab outperformed treatment of physician's choice uh, regardless of the germline BRCA1 or 2 mutation status at the time of study entry. Um, now, we do um, recommend exercising a bit of caution here in interpreting these data um, given the very small sample sizes and the very small numbers of patients who were known to have a BRCA2 or BRCA1 mutation. Um, trope 2 expression did not uh, uh, fear appear to affect efficacy outcomes in this um, analysis. So overall, um, sasetuzumab govotecan did appear to benefit all subgroups, irregardless or regardless of trope two expression or BRCA mutation status. Um, but these are somewhat interesting data, in my opinion, um, uh, because um, you know we didn't identify a subgroup of patients who don't appear to benefit from sasetuzumab.